In this video, we'll be doing an example of how forward rate agreements are priced when you are given the information on the interest rates as well as the tenor of the contract and the underlying maturity. So, in this example, let's say you are given market quotes on LIBOR and the 6 months LIBOR and the 9 months LIBOR are given as 1.8% and 2.2% respectively and assume a 30 over 360 day count convention so calculate the 6 by 9 FRA fixed rate now by 6 by 9 it's a convention for forward rate agreements which means that the FRA okay, will expire in 6 months time this is when the FRA will expire and then the underlying maturity is a 3 months LIBOR which will start from month 6 and it will mature on uh, in 9 months time so the 9 months LIBOR is given as 2.2% and the 6 months LIBOR is given as 1.8% so in this case you are asked to find the 6 by 9 FRA fixed rate which is effectively the 3 month forward rate that starts in 6 months time okay so there are two ways how we can do this you can use the formula in the textbook or you can there's, a, there's another way that's easier to remember so I'll, I will go with the uh, formula first so to use the formula okay the FRA rate will be equals to 1 plus the longer uh, the longer maturity LIBOR which is 2.2 percent and then you will multiply by the number of days which is now in 9 months you can take 9 over 12 okay or in a similar way you can convert the number of days so if you assume that every month is 30 days so this will be 270 days and then 6 months will be 180 days so you will take 270 over 360 days or we can just take 9 over 12 and then we divide by 1 plus the LIBOR for the shorter maturity from 0 to the expiry expiration date that's 1.8% okay that's for six months which is 180 over 360 or we can just take six over 12 okay so once you're done with this I'll subtract one okay and then we'll analyze it by taking the re for the remaining forward period this forward rate is for three months over 12 months okay so that's 360 days over 90 days so when you calculate this you will get the FRA rate per annum for the three months forward rate so you will get about 2.9732% per annum. Okay, so that's uh, after we multiply by 360 over 90. But if you want the FRA per quarter, then of course you will not analyze the term here. Okay, so this is using the formula. But how I normally uh, would like, or how I normally advise the students to do it, if you do not want to memorize this formula, okay, is to base it on the no arbitrage rule. So the no arbitrage rule here would be, I will split into two parts so if you look at part one okay if I were to let's say borrow money for nine months okay it should have the same cost if I were to borrow the money for six months and then roll it over for another three months at the forward rate so in this case if I if you look at part one if I were to borrow for nine months the cost here would be one plus two per, uh, two point two percent then you multiply by the number of days which is 270 over 360 and then we set it equals to the part two okay so on part in part two we will first borrow at 1.8 percent for six months so that's a 180 over 360 and then we then roll it over for another three months at the forward rate or the fra rate okay so that's the uh, that's unknown and that will be for three months okay which is 90 days over 360 so in this case, uh, I will then rearrange to get the forward rate here. So on the left hand side, okay, if you calculate this uh, for 1 plus 2.2% 2 .2 times 270 over 360, you will get 1.0165. Then for the for the second part here, for the one the three, uh, 6 months LIBOR, so this portion, if you calculate 1 plus 0 0.018 times 180 over 360, that's 1.009. And then we multiply by the last term so lastly we'll just rearrange it so I will take 1.0165 over 1.009 I'll just show you the step one by one okay but it's easy to do okay so then uh, we'll move one over 
So it becomes 1.0165 over 1.009 minus 1. Okay, so that's equals to F over 90 over 360. So what we get here is the quarterly, the nine, uh, the three months FRA rate. So lastly, your FRA rate here will be equals to 1.0165 over 1.009 minus 1. And then we inverse it over. So this becomes 360 over 90. Okay, which is exactly what we did here. But uh, the good thing about this is that um, I you don't have to really memorize anything. Just remember that the cost or the return for path 1 and path 2 should be equal so that there will be no arbitrage. Okay, uh, of course, if you want to remember the formula, uh, what I normally advise students to do is remember that the numerator has to be for the longer rate. Okay, and then the denominator will contain the shorter rate. Okay, the shorter as in from 0 up to 6 months, that's when the FRA will expire. Okay, and remember, always remember to analyze the FRA rate.